Yeah, it's a good win, John. You know, um, guys had a good week of practice. Guys practiced hard. We got a good good locker room. Uh, didn't get off to a great start. You know, turned it over. Uh, got down early, but you know, guys were resilient today, and and uh, it was good. But you know, again. We've got a lot of things to work on. We get back there. It's only six games, and um, we've got to we've got to you know keep trying to improve. We got to try to get better. I mean, I have to watch the tape, but uh, you know, we, we knew that uh, you know there were certain things that we had to do. We had to rush discipline, you know, be disciplined in our rush lanes, and and try to do as good a job as we could of of uh, covering the uh, receivers to give our rush time to get home. And um, Rack did a good job of mixing up coverages and. Uh, it was a good win. Yeah, I mean that's why you know that's why you go out and you get guys like Gaines and you trade for Crossing and um, you know you draft Lonnie Johnson and uh, you know we, we've got guys there. You know you bring in Mike Adams. Not that he played a lot, but I mean you know you have you, you're trying to always work on the depth of your roster. I mean I think that's a really important thing. Yeah, I mean that's that's what he does. I mean he's uh, he's got a lot of confidence in his, in his teammates. He's got a lot of confidence in uh, his own ability, and um, you know the team has a lot of confidence in him. He's got a really good poise on the sideline. He learns from series to series, and you know he's um, he's a great player. I don't know, John. You know, I think we got to go back. We got to look at the technique. You know, um, I think it's all everybody's involved in that. I mean, it's a, it's the whole operation. I think we have to look at it. Kaimi's made a lot of big kicks for us. We we know that, but you know, we we've got to we've got to get that area improved. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I brought the offense back out on the field. I just felt like it was it was a manageable enough distance. That we had a play that we felt we could we could you know execute the play, so that's really what it came down to. Yeah, he runs hard. He's a good guy. He's learned well. Um, good teammate. Tough guy. You know, he runs really hard. He gets his pads down. He gets behind his pads. Um, you know, he he wants to do well. It's very important to him. I've known him for a while. Coached against him when I was at Penn State, and he was at Ohio State, and. Uh, you know he's doing a good job for us. How big was the it was big. I mean, um, right there at the end of the half. I mean, you know, we, um, you know, that was a big play in the game. You know, that gave us a lot of momentum going in at halftime. We felt like you know going in at halftime with the lead after how we had started was a good good thing for us. No doubt about it. Yeah, I think you know we did. We we got to fix those. That's kind of what I'm saying about going back and getting better. We had a formation misalignment. We had uh, a couple penalties there that that weren't very good. And but again, when you have a guy like Deshaun and the guys around him, um, you know you can get behind the sticks. You don't want to do it very often. You don't want to make a habit of it. But but you have a chance when you have a guy like that playing quarterback with all the guys around him. And I think our offensive line. I think you have to give them a lot of credit today. They they played really well. We rushed for a bunch of yards, and that that has a lot to do with the O line and Fells and Aikens and 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 you know how how, how Carlos ran. But uh, I thought our offensive line protected and and did a nice job blocking. Yep. Yeah, he's a good player. You know, he's a guy that. When we, we had him at the Senior Bowl, and he did a lot of good things for us there. He's very smart, got a really good demeanor, very calm guy, very older, a little bit older relative to you know his years in the league. And um, you know he, he's he's been productive. He's very very instinctive player, and he did a good job today. I think we got to look at them, Aaron, and we got to we got to be able to study them, and then we've got to be able to show our players kind of what they're calling. We've talked a lot about this year, is that you can you can stand up here and you can complain, or you can really understand how the game is being officiated. And I think the more we can understand and our players can understand how the game is being officiated, then we're gonna, we're going to be better for that. We've got to do a better job of that. We didn't do that. There were too many penalties today for us, and. You know, penalties and turnovers in the end, they'll 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 come back to haunt you. So we've got to we got that's one of the things I'm talking about that we got to fix. Yeah, 
you're right. I mean, I think it changes from crew to crew. Now, now I will say this. Not many challenges have been overturned. I felt like that there was a pick at the beginning of the game, and it was a 52-yard pass play versus a high-scoring offense. So I felt like that was an important challenge, even though it was one minute into the game. That was a big gain, and if we could back them up there, you know, and I felt like there was a pick. And, and so, um, but they didn't, you know, and so we've got to look at that, and we've got to figure it out, and um, it doesn't matter really in the end what we think. We've got to understand what they're thinking. Say that again. You know, we knew Hill would play. I mean, Hill's a great player, and we, the timetable for him relative to when he got hurt for Jacksonville, we had an idea that he would play against us. So, it's. I mean, John, when when you have those two guys, Hill and Kelsey, I mean, those guys are great players. I mean, it's very difficult to defend them. You just try to do the best job you can of knowing where they're aligned and try to understand what they're going to do from where they're aligned, and then do the best you can to combine the coverage and the rush. Yeah, I, th I think they work hard. They they work hard in practice. Um, they 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 pay attention in meetings. They're really a good group to coach. Uh, they care about the team. Um, you know, they they seem to have fun with each other. You know, uh, and we got to keep it going. You know, that's the that's the thing. I mean, this is what I just told the team. We're four and two, which is really good. We just had a good win. Had a good win last week, but it's four and two. Four and two gets you nowhere. And uh, we have a very very good team on the road next week, very well-coached team, um, you know, that beat us in the playoffs last year. And so we, we, we've got a big week here, and we gotta, we got to quickly turn the page and get going. Was there a lot of about Just from what I heard after the game, um, it, it, maybe it looked worse than it, than it actually was. And we'll have to wait and see, but, uh, you know, hopefully uh, we can get him back at some point. He's, he's played really good football for us, and uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll know more about that later.